a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series action figure review. Some of have got Fennec Shan finally in hand. I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, I didn't mean that to rhyme, but it did. Fennec Shan finally in hand. Yeah, really looking, f really been excited for this one. Um, been very, very elusive. Um, didn't get a very big release here in Australia yet at all. Um, the wave that she's part of has started showing up in a lot of stores, but this figure for some reason has been the number one popular one and there just haven't been many out there. Um, Myers um, have been picking them up and also Big W recently, some sightings at Target, but um, not particularly anywhere close to where I am. So yeah, I, I resorted to eBay, probably paid a little bit too much, but just to, to make sure I don't have to spend money um, driving around the city looking for this figure, especially with fuel prices the way they are, I think I probably came out pretty even. So I'm really excited about this one. The uh, three and three quarter inch Fennec was one of the best figures we've seen in a while. And this one is just equally as nice looking. Um, an assassin elite mercenary who has worked for all the top syndicates, she clever and capable and cunning. She is a formidable opponent and a fantastic character. This is the sort of first figure for me with the uh, Book of Boba Fett sort of color, color scheme. Um, the uh, Boba Fett should be due out very, very shortly. So let's crack open this one and take a look. All right, here we have Fennec out of the box. And yeah, this is absolute, one absolutely fantastic figure. Um, she's standing up okay. I did take a little while to get there, but that's just because the uh, the base I'm using here isn't all that sturdy. So I will be holding her for most of the time. We'll get a quick look at her accessories. So she has her sort of sniper rifle and uh, the strap. So that will hang over her shoulder. She looks fantastic. Really nicely sculpted piece, looks good sit nicely over her shoulder and we'll do that in a moment after we've had a look at the figure and we have here her helmet now this one is a fitting helmet over the head whereas the vintage collection they went with the swap out heads which in my opinion is a better option um, personally that's just the way I like I prefer a swappable head because uh, you know, particularly in the three and three quarter inch scale where um, Bigger helmets tend to uh, sacrifice a good sculpt and able to fit their heads, but uh, Hasbro's doing the right thing by doing the swap out heads. So we'll get a look at the helmet. We'll have to take a look at the figure. And here she is, really, really nice likeness to Ming-Na Wen. I think she's absolutely stunning. This looks fantastic. She is just absolute badass really really big fan of her and uh yeah this figure has come off really really nicely the inclusion of the uh soft plastic here in lieu of the soft goods on the three and three quarter inch figure is actually something i prefer in this case um you know bigger figure needs more detail so we're able to get that sort of sculpting into that sort of into that fabric so to speak Whereas the vintage collection, that's you don't really need that. So you can get away with the soft goods, um, and the soft goods are great too. I think they did a really good job. Um, but yeah, in terms of this figure, I think this one just suits the aesthetic a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to have the sort of soft plastic for this one, just to get that extra little bit of detail out of the figure. But yeah, her whole suit, all those sort of textures in her in her outfit are just remarkable. You can sort of see all those, all those patterns on the sleeves, on the back of the, on the back there as well. Really nicely done. And some details around the top of the legs there, around the thighs. I do like the sort of, the sort of black and orange theme, colour theme she's gone with. And again, the head sculpt done really nicely, that sort of long braid coming down the side. The 
the sculpting detail on the top of the head is really nice too. Just a fantastic looking figure, really, really nice. So, I mean she will hold this rifle, but it's a, it's a funny one, so I'm gonna spend some time um, making sure that will sit properly. But for now, I'll just uh, put it over her shoulder and get a look at how that sits. Yeah, it sits really nicely. That's not going anywhere. It looks nice, sitting well. Can't ask for better than that. So yeah, nice, very nice indeed. Now let's take a look at the helmet on. Now I have seen a couple of reviews uh, Sci-Fi did his review the other night, um, and yeah, it's a bit of, it takes a little bit of work to really get that fitting, getting the eyesight lined up with the uh, gap in the visor, because it does sort of want to close. And yeah, that's another reason why I prefer the uh, swappable heads. But uh, yeah, this this one works. I mean, the scales, scale looks nice. Um, it is an awesome looking helmet. But uh, for this particular figure, I think I'll be, I prefer to show off that awesome head sculpt and uh, have a sort of maybe just sort of holding the helmet at her side like so. So yeah, just absolutely top notch figure. Really glad to have this one in the collection. It turned out fantastically, worth the wait, worth the uh, few extra bucks to get it posted on through eBay. So I do have one more figure on the way, um, and I don't know, I'm, I'm tinkering around with doing some Marvel stuff. I've been picking up the odd Marvel figure here and there, just when I can afford it. I'm liking a lot of what's coming out at the moment. Um, <laughs> again, it's a it's a offshoot that I always get sucked into. But um, yeah, I might, I might do the odd review for a Marvel Legend or some Batman stuff as well. So just in between the Star Wars goodness. So thank you all very much for watching. Let me know what you think in, of this figure in the comments. I think this one's definitely going to make my top 10 of the year, I think. It's just so nice, really. Just the sculpt, the detail, the paint, everything is just really, really nice. So thank you all so much for tuning in again. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.